first play of the game. Just got it through today. And this is expressing uh, all about the butterfly effect, which is one of the features of this game. Uh, when you make a decision, you can have devastating consequences, much like a butterfly flapping its wings can uh, cause a hurricane on the other side of the world. It's basically trying to tell you, watch your choices, man, uh, because it can have profound consequences as the story unfolds. Now, from what I, from what I gather, there is a way to uh, complete the game, saving everybody or killing everybody. And in between, there are many possibilities. Who knows what uh, I will bring to this game, but you're guaranteed you're going to get a unique experience, certainly with my gameplay, or possibly one of a thousand different consequences. So let's get into this. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm actually playing this in the dark, with the headset on, and I'm already a little scared. Brilliant. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. <laughs> okay, so we seem to have a group of uh, victims, I suppose you call them at this point. All right, this is. Hannah! Oh, hang on. Is that? Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, I've got control. Uh, as you may have recognised, the Hayden Panettiere, um, the blonde girl, the cheerleader, we had to save in Heroes. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I can move around, look at stuff. Okay, so there's some flashing icons in the background here. Um. Let me just have a quick check what I can do with this. A tutorial. Oh, we're at that stage of the game. Of course we are. Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Got it. Uh, move the right stick to hold R2. Oh, to inspect. Good. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Oh, wow. This mic is coming on strong. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Hmm, I wonder what he has in mind. Probably wants a game of cards or oh something. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention <laughs> time. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so her sister was the, uh, intendee for that note. Got a drunk or dead guy already? A dead guy? I'm sure he's just passed out. Asleep, whatever. I need to find... I, I've got a feeling I, I need to explore a little, so I'm just coming back here. I, th I think this character's called Beth. Hello. Yeah, she's she's cool. Definitely looks like a student's flat here. Um, aha. Okay. Uh, oh, I saw something flashing over that side. Let me just go back and have a look at that. Uh, use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Inspected? What am I talking about? Pick up the bottle. Uh, hold and use right to, 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 the right stick to inspect objects, alright? Jeremiah Cragg. 
Uh, Alright, that was... Jeez, oh, Josh. hang on. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Okay. So, the empty bottle is significant here. Glad you can make it. Ah. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Okay, he's coming on strong. He's fresh. Oh, hell yeah. Brilliant. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, that's bad, man. Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all got out of hand. Just a stupid prank. Uh. Hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Yeah, she's right. Assholes. <laughs> or find others. This looks like a decision point here. I'm not quite sure uh, if I should do either of these things. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm moving the right hand stick and... Uh, it doesn't seem to give me the option to wait, Josh. Oh, here we go. Oh man. Josh. Okay. Josh. I chose to wake him Josh. by moving the stick left and right <laughs> randomly. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Uh. Anna. What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Dad. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Yeah. Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Uh, oh, press the correct action button before the timer runs out. Oh, God. Right, got it, got it, got it, got it. <sighs> Bullies always say it was a joke. Brilliant. Uh, fast or safe? Oh, god damn it. Right, decision time. Um, um, safe. She's probably gonna be okay. I'm going safe. I've just killed her, probably. Oh, god. Follow the noise or the footprints? Well, the noise was a twig and bird's footprints. Uh, footprints. Going for footprints. Man. You're already feeling like whatever decision you make is going to be the wrong one to do. I mean... Ah. Okay. Use the touchpad. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, swipe. Nice. My phone does that. Hannah. Ah, oh, okay. Direct the light beam with the right stick, and I can walk with the left. Good. I feel like I need to find something because they told me to do that. Uh. Oh, sorry. It. Let's just go. So far, discoverable items have been flashing, um, and I wonder if I have to shine something to find it. Oh, who knows, man? This is already getting creepy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Uh, L1 to walk faster, but I'm down with that. I'm either walking faster away from something or walking faster into something. I'm not sure it's a good idea, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Something here. What is this? Ah, okay. I think this is one of those totems I've heard about. Uh, when you pick something up, you can use the right stick to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Now, I, I did have a look at somebody online showing you this, and um, 
the totems will give you these things you find will give you a like a premonition of something that could happen if you make well the right or the wrong choice depending on how you want to play the game I mean some people want to just kill everybody so it's the right decision for them but um, that is what could happen if I guess in a moment soon sometime I make the wrong decision this girl's gonna fall bash her head on something uh, okay Oh, dude. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like I said, man, I'm playing this in the dark with, with my headset on, and uh, I'm all alone. I'm a little scared. Anna. <laughs> Anna. Hello? Ah, there she is. Let go or drop Hannah. What the fuck? Seriously? I'm Hannah, so bye. Sorry. I don't care. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that was clearly the right decision. Jesus Christ. Oh, that'll... Jeez. Okay, so I've managed to kill two people. Brilliant. By being mildly selfish. Oh, wow. I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Oh my Every God. single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. <laughs> oh I man. want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary. Even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. <laughs> Jesus. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience man I know that actor he was in prison break uh okay uh well, what do I say do I have to answer can you hear me um alright so how did that picture make you feel Remember, be honest. Uh, uh, well, I don't think it was particularly uneasy, but... Oh, uh, 
It made me happy. Yeah, man. Let's do that. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Oh. Yeah, yeah, peaceful. Peaceful, definitely. Oh. Interesting. That's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Uh, well, it'd be a bit boring, so not really, no. And why is that? Well, I just told you. Um, yeah, lonely. There you go. It'd be lonely. Peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. <laughs> this is something we need to explore further. Don't you agree? I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Until the next session, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. This guy's freaking me out, man. <laughs> okay, so we've got our own personal psychiatrist. Uh, wow, okay, there's an intro for you. Brilliant. Wow, okay, well, uh, there you go, intro done. Uh, episode number one, uh, and please come back and watch the next one on this channel. Um, I will try to keep myself together. I don't think that's possible, but I will give it a good go. Um, wow, can't wait for more, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back very soon with the next episode. Thanks a lot. Good night.